What's going on, people? I was watching this video that Young Pharaoh put out. And he was responding to Kirk Franklin, an interview that he had. And he put out some false information saying that Christianity began in Africa. And he tried to link it to Africa. Like, you have a lot of so-called black Americans do that. They try to mix someone else's culture or someone else's religion with Africa. They always try to place it back into Africa when Kurt Franklin was completely off. That's not the problem I had with Young Pharaoh's video. The problem I had with Young Pharaoh's video is the same problem I have with a lot of so-called black conscious folks that always bash religion, that bash Christianity, that bash Yeshua or Jesus, and even bash the Most High. Now, I find it quite interesting that these people claim to have so much knowledge. They have so much information. They talk about the cosmos and energy and all this other nonsense. But it makes no sense to continually ta attack religion when religion is not really based on knowledge. It's based on faith. The just shall live by faith and not by sight. So although it's good to go back into history and find out where certain things came from and how certain things began, we can't find all truth in man-made books because those same books that young Pharaoh study, those same books that he memorized, he forget that other men wrote those books. And a lot of those books were written by people that wrote books, that wrote books, that wrote books, that had actually did the research. Now, unless you are an archaeologist and you go into Egypt or wherever and you start digging up artifacts, and then you're able to say, I know this is what I found, this is what I researched. But until you do that, you're only relying on information that other men gave you to study and to read. So you're not going according to real knowledge. You're going according to knowledge that other people call themselves studying and wrote books. And like I said, nine times out of ten, they wrote books from books that were already written. So unless you do the research, your, the footwork yourself, and you come up with the information and you say, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this information that I'm reading in these books are true, then you're not, you're just as bad as any religion that you criticize. Now, it's interesting that black folk have all this information to be able to tell who and who did not exist. Young Pharaoh and many people like Young Pharaoh would say Jesus didn't exist, Moses didn't exist, Jonah didn't exist. They go in the Bible and try to find contradictions of the book and say this isn't true and that's not true. This never exists. This never happened. How do you know and you didn't live in that time period? Since you have so much information on who existed and who did not exist and what happened and what did not happen, why don't you tell me who you are? Tell me who you are. Tell me who your true people are. Now, I'm from the tribe of Shabazz. I'm a Moor. We're Moorish people. We're Egyptians. We're Ethiopians. We five percenters. Black people always attach themselves to other people's culture without having true facts on who you are or even where that information came from. I used to be like Young Pharaoh. I used to study the same books that Young Pharaoh studied, right? But then I sat down and I thought about him like, wait a minute. This man wrote this book. Where did he get that information from? Oh, he went to a university. He studied. Doesn't matter if it's a white university or a black university. The point is he went to a university. He studied some books. 
He memorized those books. That's where he got his information from. So the books where he got his information from, where did they get it from? Oh, wait. They got it from someone else that wrote books off of books that were already written. Books that were put here to condition your mind. I have more I have more respect and I would put more stock in the information that people that claim that they journeyed into the spiritual realm than I would those people that read books from people that wrote books that people wrote that wrote books that people wrote that never did the research themselves. I liken that to an Easter egg hunt. It's interesting that for those people that celebrate Easter and they hide eggs and their children and even adults do that. You know, going to Easter egg hunt, you're trying to find eggs and, and what have you. That's the way it is with the so-called information that we're programmed to accept as truth and the so-called information that we're programmed to believe. It's an Easter egg hunt. You're reading these books. You're coming up with different types of information. And it's creating confusion right within your own uh, group of people. So now you have a certain group of people that think that they're more wise and knowledgeable than the other group of people. And they're steady bashing the information, religion, and belief system of another person to promote the information that someone else wrote in the book that got from a book that got from a book and didn't do the research themselves. So until you can actually dig up the ground and tell me that the information you put out there is factual and it's easy for people to say like, um, I have the receipts, I have the documents, I'm going to show you the truth. Do you really have truth? Or do you have some information that someone else fed your mind? Could that be one of the Easter eggs that you happen to find that had maybe some blue in it? And now you're going to try to dispel the yellow Easter eggs, which the yellow Easter eggs will try to dispel the red Easter eggs or the pink Easter eggs. But they all came from the same place. They were all colored by another human being. They were eggs that a chicken laid. It was stolen. And they put coloring on it. So now you're on an Easter egg hunt trying to find information that you never even validated as being factual or being true. So tell me who you are. What tribe did you come from? What part of Africa did you come from? Who are your people? If you have information to be able to tell me that Yeshua or Jesus did not exist, or something didn't happen and you're able to put Jesus in a, a particular place and where he lived and where he grew up. Then you should be able to tell me who your people are. What tribe was your people taken from and placed in the captivity? Tell me that. Give me that information. Because from what I understand, you guys were not Ethiopians. You're not Egyptians. You're not Egyptian, man. So why are you studying Egyptology? Why are you spewing out information that you really don't have no knowledge on? You just open the book, which is good. It's always good to read. I promote reading. As a matter of fact, I've studied a whole lot of books. I've studied a whole lot of cultures. I've studied a whole lot of belief systems. And at the end of the day, when I looked inside myself and I started using my own mind, I put the matrix information aside. I put the matrix Easter eggs aside and I stopped going on the Easter egg hunt and started looking within myself. The best type of information you can have is the information that comes from the, from the spirit realm. That you go inside yourself. I'm not talking about this witchcraft. I'm not talking about voodoo. I'm not talking about Satanism. I'm not talking about that. When you learn how to meditate and go inside yourself and you pull stuff out of the ethers, then I can probably relate to that because then my, my spirit would bear witness to the spirit that you come in. 
But when I see you living an opposing lifestyle and you attack, attacking other black people like yourself and you claim to be about blackness and to the point where you're putting black women as God, uh, I have to question you, bruh. Now, one time I was in support of Pharaoh until I started seeing him change. See, he started changing. This is not the same so-called young Pharaoh that we knew from the very beginning. And who appointed you as a Pharaoh? And if you are a Pharaoh, shouldn't you be a part of history? Show me in history where you exist as a Pharaoh before this time. So that's my, my now, Kirk Franklin, what he said was bogus. It was crazy. It, he was far off with it. But my only issue was when Pharaoh, and you have a lot of people like that on, on uh, YouTube, a lot of black people that love to bash religion. They love to bash Christianity. They always try to find holes in someone else's religion or belief system. But yet, they're not taking second thought of looking into who they are as a person, as an individual. Who are your people? And why are you still in poverty? Leeching off of the people that you claim to love. Robbing the people that you claim to love. So, feedback, tell me who you, what you think. Share the video, subscribe, until next time. I'm the Fearless Vigilante.